Hi, Lauren and Steve. I mean, this is just a sad situation where nobody wins. Now, not the neighbors who you see here, certainly not the homeowner that who was in custody of the dog and not the dog itself who was shot by a police officer, survived and then later euthanized. Julie Proctor is still trying to process what happened. This is what he was hooked to. She was dog sitting her grandson's pit bull when her next door neighbor came over to say goodbye before leaving for South Carolina. 78 year old Ann Joyner went into her neighbor's backyard and everything changed. First, he just grabbed her shoes and I thought I could keep him away long enough for her to get up. But then he come back and that's when I pulled on this chain. Julie grabbed the dog's harness, but instead it broke free. And he went in attack mode. Ann's husband Bobby heard his wife screaming, so he went next door to help his wife. He already bit him. Hold on, sit. Sit, put all up. Then I tried to break you up. He bit me. It happened quick, real quick. Julie tried everything she could. I was beating him in the head and beating him in the head and trying to get to him. Over the phone, Bobby tells Eyewitness News he warned his neighbor at least once. And I told him, I said, you better put the dog back on the leash because he might bite somebody. And sure enough, he did. Bobby now has two casts on his arms because of the bite, and his wife, unfortunately, had to get her foot amputated. And now they are suffering because of a dog. And one of the police officers that responded here to the scene shot the dog twice and she was bitten as a result of that. Now, Julie here, she received a citation. You see some of the crime scene tape uh, here in her backyard. And tonight uh, she says she is very, very sorry for what happened to her neighbors who are just right beside her. They've been neighbors here in this neighborhood for more than 50 years. We're live in Rocky Mount tonight. Dwan Hogard, MS 11 Eyewitness News.